We are a community that welcomes the smile. <laughs> In life, one has to be able to laugh. And even if we're looking at some difficult times ahead, we should look at those times ahead with a smile, with courage, with unity. I must also thank you, Prime Minister, for inviting me to become an honorary citizen. My, may I congratulate you on the gold medals of your remarkable hockey teams in Sochi. As an ex-player myself, I was hoping you would require your honorary citizens to join your team. <laughs> I'm convinced that the Dalai Lama and I would have been a formidable defense. <laughs> the Darbar is an occasion of happiness. And sometimes the Jamaat in the past months has said to me, Hazrat Imam, why do you make these jokes? <laughs> and I say, well, why shouldn't I make jokes? The Darbar is a moment of happiness. And I remind them that in Islam, happiness is a blessing. It is a blessing from Allah. And therefore, if you have smiles and you have happy children and you have friends, and you enjoy the qualities of life. This is also a reason to be thankful for the blessing from Allah. I've had a wonderful evening. I wish you happiness, joy, smiles on your faces, and a few good jokes. That's very healthy. Thank you. Yali Mede, bienvenue, welcome, and Kushali Mambarak. Thank you so much for joining us for this very special Salgira edition of Friday Night Reflections, Our Guiding Light. My name is Zara Premji, and it's an absolute honor to be hosting you here from my living room in Vancouver, of course, with some added Kushali decorations. What better way to commemorate Maulana Hazri Mom's 84th birthday than to start with some jokes from the man himself? So funny, so many memories that we can all reflect back on. Now, you know, it is so exciting to welcome our global Jamaat from across the world, our multi-faith family members, Jamaati members from just about everywhere. Thank you for taking time out to celebrate Kushali with all of us here today. I know it would be normally here in Vancouver, at least at the p &E. We'd also be getting ready 30 minutes before Jamaat Khanna. I'd be trying to figure out which sari I'm going to wear, if my mom can pin it, if my sister can do my hair, and of course, will dad find parking? None of those things are on the list. I know it's been a difficult time to not be able to celebrate December 13th together in congregation feels different. It feels difficult and it's hard and we understand that. Thank you for taking the time to be at home, be safe and keep your loved ones safe. It is hard. It is difficult, but for the whole weekend, we get to celebrate together. We get to remember all of the things that Malana Hazri Mom has done for us. We get to celebrate one another, our volunteerism, all the love within our community. And I'd say we're pretty lucky to be able to do that. It is difficult, but we get to go virtual and that's pretty amazing. Now I know the big question often is, am I gonna have bone broth? Am I going to have chai? What is Zara going to be drinking? This time, don't worry, I attempted to make sherbet. It's a different color, of course. I don't know how to make it, so I tried, bear with me. But of course, I also have Nani Siro. So I've got my chai and naso equivalent. I've got my snacks. I hope you have yours, and I hope you're prepared for a wonderful evening ahead. Now I have a little secret to let you in on. It's not just me here with you tonight. I'm excited to let you know that we have hosts, female, strong, powerful hosts from across the country, bringing us a bit of Kushali from every region across Canada. So excited to have us all here with you together to celebrate. Now I ask you to sit back, relax, grab your sherbet, anything you want, and enjoy the festivities. First off, we welcome for a special speech, President of the Council, President Amirali Qasim Laka. My dear brothers and sisters, Yalimadat. On behalf of the Canadian Jamaati leadership, I would like to extend our warmest Kushali Mubarak to each of you and your families. This Salgira 
marks the 84th birthday of our beloved Molana Hazrimam. Every year we celebrate his birthday out of love, affection and care. But we also celebrate out of gratitude. There's a unique and timeless spiritual bond that ties each murid to our beloved Imam. This bond is a source of strength. It sustains us and serves as the most important source of guidance and meaning as we navigate through our daily lives. It is the foundation of our family and community life, the shared understanding that brings us together, and what gives us place in the broader world we live in. It is under the umbrella of our beloved Imam's constant care that the Canadian Jamaat has been able to make Canada its home, establish strong and stable institutions, and matured with unity and strength. For these blessings, we are eternally grateful and offer our deepest shukrana. We pray that this day brings joy, happiness, prosperity, unity in our families, and cause for celebration in our homes, together with a lot of good food and laughter, inshallah. Typically, we would be celebrating Kushali together in our Jamaat Khanas. While this is not possible under today's circumstances, I offer two sources of optimism for our future. The first is that we are moving forward with an end in sight. Recent advances in medicine indicate strong signs of progress. Inshallah, this means that our toughest moments will be behind us. Our future looks bright and we will soon all be together again. The second source of comfort is in knowing that the true heart of our community does not stem from our occupying the same physical space, but in the values we share and the love we have for each other and for our beloved Imam. Years from now, when we speak to our children and grandchildren of these days, the days when Jamaat Khanas and communal programs were suspended, we will tell them a story defined by our strength and character. We will describe how we came together, supported one another, looked after our loved ones and those most in need, and how we emerged as a stronger, more caring and united Jamaat. I think of our countless volunteers and committee members who have spent hours helping the vulnerable and challenged members within our Jamaat caring for and ensuring their quality of life. This includes our care for the elderly committees, members of our national and local task forces, the Smiley Volunteer Corps, institutional boards and portfolios offering programming for the Jamaat, and many others who have contributed their time, resources and knowledge in steering the Jamaat through this crisis. Our donors have opened their hearts in this time of the pandemic out of a sense of brotherhood, humanity and devotion to our beloved Imam. I also think of the Muki Kamariyas and Mukhyani Kamariyanis who are caring for the Jamaat across the country. By day they work in their jobs and businesses and by night they are on the phone reaching out to members of the Jamaat and responding to the evolving needs of the Jamaat. And finally, I think of the healthcare professionals, physicians, nurses, paramedics, and other members of the Jamaat who work in essential services, who continue to work on the front lines, ensuring that our country continues to function and we remain safe. We owe you all tremendous gratitude for your service to our community and country. You embody the universal ethics of care, compassion, and selfless service. Members of the Jamaat, on this special occasion, I'm very pleased to share with you a preview of a new and very significant effort by the Jamaat institutions to support the transformation of the Jamaat in the years to come. 
In the new year, we will share with the Jamaat more specific details of this initiative, which has been developed after consultations with hundreds of Jamaati members and experts from across the country. The program I am speaking about is the Future Ready Initiative. As the name suggests, Future Ready is about strengthening the Jamaat's resilience, confidence and capacity in the years ahead. It will bring together four elements. Number one, the Family Mentorship Program will support the Jamaat's access to priorities such as quality early childhood development and education, health, housing and social supports. Number two, the future of work will support the Jamaat's transition to emerging career pathways where there are opportunities for growth. Number three, mental health support for the Jamaat to deepen our awareness, build resiliency and support those who need professional support. Number four, fast track youth mentorship which will support young members of the Jamaat to build academic, career and life plans through coaching and role modeling. Today, we are actively seeking the engagement and support of the Jamaat in this important work. The II Canada website has volunteer postings for various roles and I would encourage members of the Jamaat, including those with professional expertise, to come forward and offer your services. The Future Ready Initiative will be there for all members of Jamaat, but we can only achieve these outcomes with the support and partnership of the Jamaat. And I would encourage you to visit the website to find out more. I look forward to sharing more details with the Jamaat about the program in January. My brothers and sisters, as we celebrate Kushali this year, we should do so with a smile in gratitude for all that we are blessed with, in spite of the times we are in. Our celebrations may look different, but that shouldn't change how we feel. The spirit of love and affection are ever present as we think of the blessings of family, community, and our beloved Imam who sustains us and brings meaning to our lives. Let us keep the spirit alive so that we feel it in our households, families, and above all, in our hearts. Salgira Mubarak to all of you and Kudafis. Thank you, President Sahib. For reminding us that we have so much to be thankful for. Especially our beloved Imam. And thanks to Zara for kicking us off from Vancouver. With that sherbet. It looked delicious. My name is Farah Nasser and I am so thrilled to be back on Friday Reflections and so excited to be with my two favorite people on the planet. Kian. And? Oh yeah. My kids. And you can see we have been getting ready for Kushali here in our home. In fact, we've been doing a little bit of a countdown. Should we show them, Aria? Should we show them the countdown? Yes, yes, yeah? yes. Okay. Here, let's show it to them. Can you hold it for me? Shelly. That's right. Down to okay, so what's so here's the date. Okay, yeah, they're day all the... one to day thirteen. Right. December. And what's been in every one of these boxes? You so want to explain? So chocolate to... and Come... acts of kindness. Yeah, that's right. Little chocolates. So Aria, what was on day one? Do you remember the act of kindness? It was do each other's bed number two. Number one was do each other's beds. Yeah. So Kian and I did each other's beds. What were the other acts number of kindness? Number two, yeah. we called our grandparents and said thank you. For their sacrifices for us living here. For coming to Canada. And also, we, I made a card for Ari, and Ari made a card for me. That's right. And we and we donated. What did we donate? We donated food. Where did we donate food to? Food to food bank. Food bank. Food bank yeah. I love you. And we made, and we made baskets. Right. What were the baskets for? For a. Uh, women. women shelter. That's right. So every day we're trying to live with the principles of our faith, right? Mm -hmm. And make our promise to Mullah Not every day. Not every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most days. <laughs> so we are so excited to be with you today. And I think you're really going to love the next item. We had a little bit of a sneak preview, right, Kian? Did you like it? 
It was pretty cool, right? Yeah, so it's 350 submissions from kids from countries all around. From what countries, Ken? Like um, USA and like Canada, right where they live. Yeah, Australia. Well, like Australia, Pakistan, India, Kenya, and more. Yeah, and so many more. And the songs had different languages, right? Yeah, like Urdu, Swahili, and like French, like French, English, Arabic, Farsi. And what does that show us? That shows us the diversity, right? Yeah. That our Jamaat is made of people from, and more, people from everywhere. So it is called uh, Dear Mola, and you can see in it that uh, our, our kids are expressing their love and their promise for our beloved Hazir Imam. So from our family to yours, we wanted to wish you... A happy Kushal Mubarak. That's right, and we hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Hope you enjoy happy it. Happy Kushal Mubarak. Enjoy it. We love you. Happy Kushali. <laughs>
What a wonderful tribute and treat. I hope all of you enjoyed that as much as I did. Yali Mudat, my name is Athiya Hirji, and I'm coming to you from Ottawa and excited to be taking the baton from Farah. Here in Ottawa, we're getting ready to skate on the Rideau Canal. We're embracing the cold, we're excited for the snow. The entire city has been lit up and it looks beautiful. Normally on this weekend, I would be getting my family and friends together for Kushali photos. I'd be dragging them onto the dance floor for Rasra. And though this year does look a little bit different than usual, I'm so happy we can come together virtually and celebrate through Friday night reflections, even though that means I have to make the cake and sherbet at home. I would like to take a minute to wish all of you Kushali Mumbarak. May you and your family be blessed with good health, happiness, and a lifetime of amazing biryani. As we celebrate the role that Milana Hazrimam has played as a guiding light in our lives, our next piece offers several personal reflections on how his guidance has shaped us, nurtured us, and gently shown us the way to fulfillment and prosperity. I'm sure many of us, as we think about our lives and our families' lives, can relate to the incredible blessing of having Hazri Mam. Enjoy. I think it's a blessing and a privilege to be an Ismaili Muslim because we have Imam Zaman. I think about the community that I've built, the people that I've met, the amazing teachings that he's provided all of us. Hazri Imam has impacted my life greatly simply by just being a role model. And what I mean by that is we've seen how much he's accomplished throughout his life and how much he continues to accomplish. Just his words uh, provide such a sense of um, comfort and peace. He's just an unlimited source of compassion and love that makes us feel like um, he's always with us and that we're never alone. I was diagnosed with cancer in 2006 and when I was stood by me, I lost my mother in my third chemo. When I became bald, she got heart attack. But Mola Papa always stood by me. I always stood by me. I always stood by me. I from the time as a refugee with no purpose in life to a life full of purpose and contentment today, I owe it all to Maulana Hazir Mam. Mola has worked tirelessly since the 11th of July 1957 for the upliftment of the Jamaat and humanity in large. I can remember Hazimam visiting my nursery school in Nairobi, standing over my shoulder, observing all the students, how well they were learning and developing. He gave the mantra to our parents, education must come first. And so it was this world-class education that changed the trajectory of my life. It allowed me to live and thrive in the Western world. Just how he's accomplished so much and gotten so far is very, very motivating. And that's one thing that really um, helps me to keep going. And I'm sure it helps a lot of other people as well. I remember when he uh, gave guidance about the importance of owning uh, your own home. And uh, although I was a bit young at the time, I kept that in mind. I am honored to be able to benefit from and participate in to some small degree the tremendous work that Milana Hazarmam does throughout the world, both for Ismailis and non-Ismailis alike. And I am grateful for his guidance both for myself and my children. This powerful concept of tabakul or reliance we have on our Imam gives me a sense of relief that uh, my life is in much better hands with him than it can ever be in my own hands. Mulan Hazrimam has taught us an approach to life, an approach to faith, uh, approach to spiritual matters and worldly matters 
um, that is so balanced and I think that that can be a great source of happiness, of pride, of guidance, and it can give our lives a great sense of purpose. Yalimutad everyone, I hope you enjoy those thoughtful reflections on the significance of Maulana Hazir Imam in our lives and for humanity. My name is Fahima Sultani, coming to you from Montreal, and I'm honored to be with you tonight. And taking over from Atiya in nearby Ottawa. On this weekend, I would typically be preparing for Jamaati celebrations at headquarters Jamaat Khana, where we all get together, young and old, joining in the festivities, sharing the joy and happiness of Maulana Hazar Imam's blessings and protection over us all. It feels like the entire Jamaat is celebrating their birthdays together with our beloved Imam. Instead, this year, my family has prepared a special meal of our world's famous Kabali Palau and a delightful Mantu and Asher for Salgara dinner, so that we can create the feeling of warmth, happiness, and a sense of celebrations. Let's not forget our traditional Salgara sherbet and cake. When we sit around the Dastarhan, and be thankful for celebrating our Imam's 84th birthday. My brothers and sisters, it has been a year filled with so many unknowns. I, for one, am immensely humbled and grateful for the guidance and love, care and affection that our beloved Maulana has a Imam has bestowed upon us, he is always with us. No matter how difficult it has been, he has been always with us. We are fortunate to have him. This has been a time where we had to face many, many challenges. As Shukur Mawla, as one Canadian Jamaat, as one united family, we will overcome adapt and move forward, be stronger and better, and always with a smile and happiness as our Maulana Hazir Imam reminds us. And with those heartwarming smiles and cheers that all of you have during this time of celebrations, let's cheer these moments of love and care for those around us, our family, and our friends and have an amazing Salgara celebrations. Usually we gave gifts to someone on the occasion of their birthday. What can we give to our Imam? What can we give to our Mola to make him happy? I hope you enjoyed this next segment where we asked a very question to some of our children. Let's listen to some of their responses to my wish to Mola. Happy birthday to you. We love you, Mola. Happy birthday to you, Mola. Happy birthday to you. Fourth birthday, we will wish you a happy birthday. I am so thankful for your love and guidance. We're wishing you a very, very happy 84th birthday. Thank you for all the blessings you have given us. Our present to you is that we will always try and be kind and generous. I wish you lots of good health and I hope for your continued guidance. Mausue Pumo Imam Akil I in V Long Ferris A Sang. Oh Ali Nabi Olade Ali, I wish for your good health, long life, safety and happiness. May you have many more years to celebrate your birthday with us. Dear Hazri Imam, on your birthday I wish you have a happy and safe year. 
and eat lots of cake. On the 84th birthday of Molana Hazard Imam, I would like to give him a promise to say my dua and dasbi every day and to always help those in need. And my wish for Mola Baba is he has lots of samosas and lots of cake for his birthday. I made this beautiful art for you. We are all a smiling Muslim and we are all different from each other. But the one thing that makes us united is you. So thank you for your guidance and love. We wish you a happy birthday with your family and the whole Jamaat around the world. Thank you for your blessing. And my wish for Mawapa is that he has good health and that he is always happy. I wish Mulana Hazri Imam that you will have a long life with good health and that we will be able to celebrate your platinum duply with you. We promise that we will fulfill our responsibilities towards ourselves and other Jamaati members to build ourselves strong and united. My wish for Mola is lots of love, smiles, biryani, and some rosas. You will have biryani, shibit, and cake at home and we hope you have some yummy cake. We wish we could celebrate this occasion with our smiley brothers and sisters. Today is the right time to tell you how thankful, grateful, and truly blessed I am. Dear Mola Baba, we thank you for all things big and small. Dear Mola Baba, thank you for guiding us, protecting us, and always being there for us. Happy 84th birthday, Mola Baba. Thank you for guiding us on Surabha Mustakeen. And please make me a nice movie. And we love you. Happy birthday, Mola Baba. We love you. Ya Ali Madath, everyone. My name is Malika Kareem Rajan, and I'm coming to you from Winnipeg, Manitoba, representing the Prairies Jamath. It's an absolute honor to be back hosting Friday Night Reflections and taking over from Fahima when I was asked to host with such a powerful, intelligent group of Ismailis, women, I was honored to be part of the mix. So thank you and Kushali Mumbarak to all involved and thank you for making this such an amazing tradition for us every Friday night. I was also surprised that Zara wasn't drinking bone broth. I definitely had my money on that. Now, if I were to try to do sherbet like Zara, it would be makeshift. It would probably be lactose-free milk with uh, Nesquik in it to make it look pink. So instead, I brought some dandy sticks along to make my flag colors happen uh, and to be festive for you tonight. I'm so happy that we get to celebrate our Imam's birthday together tonight and throughout the weekend. While this isn't the Kushali celebrations we would have imagined a year ago, it is nonetheless a very special one. And special because we get to celebrate now as a Canadian Jamath and a global Jamath together. I've been fortunate to call many Prairie Jamath Khanas my home Jamath Khana through my education and my career. So to everyone in Lethbridge, Winnipeg, and of course, Franklin Kane, Yali Madath, Kashali Mambarak, I wish I could be there with you, and I hope you're all doing well. So to keep the fun going tonight, we have the return of the Kahoot quiz to keep you all on your toes. And so loosen up those fingers, get ready to lock in your high scores, make sure you have your sherbet and your chai with you, the cookies for the kiddos for Salgira Kashali and Kushali Mubarak, everyone. All right. Question number one. Name a food Molana Hazri Mom has not joked about in an address. Moong dal, biryani, broccoli, 
or samosas. The answer is mung dal. Yes, Molana Hazrimam has joked about all of them except for mung dal, as far as we know. Question 2. Which of the following list contains an activity that is not common during Kushali celebrations? Eating biryani, playing dandyaras, playing kids games, or showing off our outfits, finding our significant others, and taking family pictures, or praying, doing arts and crafts, drinking sherbet, or finally, listening to appointment announcements, applying mendi, and eating hot dogs. The answer is D. Listening to announcements and applying Mendy for sure, but hot dogs, not so much, unless you make a Costco stop beforehand. Question number three. Which of the following phrases is not typically used to greet people on Salgara? Eid Molud Mubarak, Milad Mubarak, Jashna Mubarak, or Kushali Mubarak? The answer is B. Eid Molud Mubarak is often used in parts of Iran and Syria, meaning a celebration of birth. Jashna Mubarak is commonly used in parts of Afghanistan and Kushali Mubarak in the South Asian tradition. Question 4. Name a sport Molana Hazrumam has not often participated in. Skiing, wrestling, football or soccer, or ice hockey. The answer is B. Molana Hazrimam has commonly enjoyed skiing, soccer, and ice hockey, or if you're Canadian, just hockey. Question 5. Which of the following are not names of Molana Hazrimam's grandchildren? Sara, Ilian, Irfan, or Adrian? The answer is D, Adrian. Sara and Ilian are Princess Zara's children. Irfan is Prince Rahim's eldest. Question 6. Name four countries in which Milana Hazrumam has lived. Is it Sweden, Switzerland, Mozambique, and South Africa? Or is it Switzerland, Kenya, Belgium, and Spain? Or is it Switzerland, Kenya, France, and the United States? Or is it Kenya, United States, Russia, and Côte d'Ivoire? The answer is C. Molana Hazrumam spent a portion of his childhood in Kenya, went to school in Switzerland, studied at Harvard, and lives in France currently. Question number seven. Name a scent one would not expect to smell during Kushali. Agarbathi, saffron, vinegar, or Maz perfume? The answer is C. Vinegar is not commonly used as a celebratory scent or perfume. Saffron is a common spice in Iranian foods and desserts and in some South Asian foods. Agarbathi is used in many traditions of South Asian origin. 
And we all know the smell of Ma's Haluth-esque perfume. Question 8. Which is not an institutional insignia element presented to Molana Hazrumam during the Diamond Jubilee homage ceremony? The Holy Quran, the Constitution, a ceremonial sword, or the manuscript of the Divan by Nasir Khusro? The correct answer is D. On the occasion of the Diamond Jubilee homage ceremony, Molana Hazrumam accepted submissions including the Holy Quran, the Constitution, and a ceremonial sword. A manuscript of the Divan was presented to Molana Hazrumam on behalf of the Canadian Jamaat in Calgary in 2018. Question 9. Name something that is not a popular Kashali dance move. Dubke. Dosi do, dandia, or side shuffle. The answer is B. The dubke is a traditional dance in Syria. Dandia is, of course, a traditional Gujarati dance. The side shuffle is a line dance that originated. Who knows where, but you've all seen it while playing Rasra. Question 10. In which three countries are Aga Khan Academies operational? Canada, Portugal, and Spain, or Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Tajikistan, or Kenya, Mozambique, India, or Uganda, Tanzania, and Malaysia? The correct answer is C. Aga Khan Academies are operational in Mombasa, Maputo, and Hyderabad. Construction on the Aga Khan Academy in Dhaka is scheduled for completion shortly. Question 11. Molana Hazrumam has been bestowed the following honours in order of receipt. Order of Canada, Honorary Canadian Citizenship, Honorary Doctorate from the University of Ottawa, Adrian Clarkson Prize for Global Citizenship, and Honorary Doctorate from UBC slash SFU. Is it true? False, it's in the wrong order. False, he hasn't received one of these awards. Or false, he hasn't received two or more of these awards. The answer is A. He received all of the above awards in this order amongst others. Question 12. What is not commonly worn during Kushali celebrations? A waskat, a tracksuit, a thobi, or a thoki? The answer is B. A waskath is a fancy vest with mirrors on it worn in regions of Afghanistan and Syria. The thobi is a long white Arab dress worn in Syria. And the thoki is a traditional Pamiri hat. Although if you've been to a campus kane, tracksuits have been seen. Question 13. What is not a common ingredient in the drink sherbet? Ice cream, rose water, food coloring, or ocean spray cranberry. The correct answer is D. Unless you like skateboarding to old Fleetwood Mac songs. Thank you so much for playing Kashali Mumbarak. 
Good evening, bonsoir, and ya ali madat. My name is Zia Kermali, and through the power of technology, I am joining you in your home this evening, all the way from Edmonton. I hope that you're enjoying this evening's program so far. I hope you scored at least 90% or higher on that quiz that you just took. Just joking. Kudos to all of you who played along. Uh, participation points are a thing. <laughs> it's an honor to be closing the Saligraph Friday Night Reflections. What a wonderful evening of laughter, celebration, gifts, and remembrance. And uh, before the final musical expressions for tonight, let's take a look at what's coming up for the weekend. Tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. Eastern, you can join Jamathi Youth from different parts of the world in Kana Kazana. You will get some ideas on things you can cook at home. And let's be real, who doesn't like a good home-cooked Ismaili meal? I don't know about you guys, but with all this time on my hands at home, I can sure brew up a good cup of chai that is not from a bag. <laughs> Surely my nanny ma would be proud. Uh, at 4.30 tomorrow, youth leaders from across the country will come together virtually to plan a special 84th birthday for Milana Hazari mom. And hey, there will even be a fun quiz for those aged 2 to 10 to follow along. Tomorrow evening at 8.30 Eastern, there will be Light and Hope, which let's be honest, we could all use at a time like this. Celebrations of love and devotion. While you may not be able to play Dandia Ras and spill a full plate of biryani on your new outfit in Jamat Khanna, there's nothing stopping you from doing it at home. Just think about how easy it would be to do a wardrobe change because we all know that that biryani leaves a stain should you spill it. Uh, you can set your clocks for this one Sunday, December 13th. Make sure to join us for a special evening program entitled Saligra, celebrating our beloved Imam as we honor Hazar Imam and offer our gratitude for his presence in our lives. Uh, music is always some good food for the soul as well. And now it's time for We Are the World by the Canadian Artist Ensemble. This is the reimagination of the famous original. This song includes over 22 different artists from across the country. You'll hear over eight different languages and artists and instruments from a wide array of cultures. And as part of this piece, musical directors have tried to overcome the reality of the world in which we currently find ourselves in through Seva, which with reminders to stay strong during these trying times. There is no better time than the present to remind ourselves that Molana Hazari Mom's birthday is not just an opportunity to celebrate but also a time to reflect on his qualities and the action he inspires in all of us. We end this evening's show with another very special piece, giving our thanks to the Imam for his grace and mercy and for always remaining by our side. We hope that you have enjoyed the show. Thank you so much for allowing us into your homes this evening. And on behalf of all the other hosts and the entire team, we would like to wish you a very special Kushali Mubarak. Stay safe and stay healthy.
a timeless lie. You are
نظرِ کرم
जब आएंगे वो क्या होंगे जैसे दिल में बसेगी खुशियों की भरसा जब आएंगे वो क्या होंगे जज्बा दिल में बसेगी खुशियों की बरसात दिल में बसेगी खुशियों की बरसात तेरा शुक्र करूँ मैं मुला तेरा शुक्र करूँ शुक्र करूं मैं तेरा शुक्र करूं मैं हम याद तुम्हें करते हैं दिन नाल तूने बनाई सबकी बिगड़ी तेरा शुक्र करूं मैं मुल तेरा शुक्र करूं शुक्र करूँ मैं तेरा शुक्र करूँ मैं तेरा शुक्र करूँ मैं मुल तेरा शुक्र करूँ मैं तेरा शुक्र करूँ मैं तेरा शुक्र करूँ मैं तेरा शुक्र करूँ मैं मुल तेरा शुक्र करूँ मैं तेरा शुक्र शुक्र करूं मैं तेरा शुक्र करूं मैं मोला तेरा शुक्र करूं मैं तेरा शुक्र करूं मैं मोला तेरा शुक्र करूं मैं तेरा शुक्र करूं मैं तेरा शुक्र करूं मैं